in the part 3 we can see most of the things regarding text item property sheet the text item property sheet now i want to show what are the minimum and maximum values the property sheet the text item you can see name the item type is text suppose we want to fix the price we want to fix the price as lowest value is only 5 and whatever it may be lowest value is 5 highest value i can give up to 150 suppose i want to give initial value is 100 i want to give the hint i want to give the hint the hint hint i will give enter enter the value between Five to one fifteen. Five to one fifteen. Enter the value between five one fifteen. I'll give display hint automatically. Yes. Now I will close this. I did it everything in the price field. So now I will save my form, compile my form as it is, and I will run the form. So I will see how it will come in the runtime. My conditions. So we can say so initial value means by default value. Minimum value is lowest value is minimum value. How much value it will give? So initial value we can see 100. By default value is coming. So now I will execute this one. So now you can then suppose I am entering the field. It will give in the status bar that hint. Automatically enter the value between 5 to 150. It is automatically coming in the status bar once my cursor is placed in the column. Suppose I want to change values for four. The cursor never moves to the next one because my lowest value I given is five. That's why I can't able to go and move my cursor to the next column called addition. So I will change my value as nine. This is and we we'll check the highest value also. Highest value one fifty given. Now I'll try one fifty five. The same thing. This also not a so my highest value is so I will give now this is my value. So then only I can so it will give once whenever you are going and clicking here automatically the hint will appear in the status bar. This is what we now we learn in the text. Type. What is the default value that is initial value, lowest value, lowest value alone, and maximum value, highest value alone. This is called maximum value alone. In the Text item. Next one we can see in the same text item property sheet. Go to the design time layout wizard. Go to the property sheet. Now we want to change the color of the text item. We can go and see four color and background. I can change one is called light yellow color. That is foreground color and background color. I'll change as Dark reddish color. This way I will do it. You can change the color. Save. Then again I will run and compile it. So we can see in the runtime the color is appearing. So my color is appearing as yellow and my background color is. We I can do the color changes in the text. What are the things we learned in this tutorial part 3 is the property text of text item in the design time. We know what is four color, foreground color, background color, and then 
hint and display hint automatically. Next, we learn what is the initial value, lowest allowed value, highest allowed value. This and all we know. That's all. This 